Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel is Finding Value. If you like making money, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you guys subscribing who have subscribed. Thank you. Uh, join our community if you haven't, and let's ride this commodity bull market up together. I give you guys a lot of different information. I'm trying to look at everything from multiple perspectives. Uh, I just started looking at some of the Elliott Wave things to see how that aligns with some of our investments. Uh, I do ratio analysis, which tells us what's cheap, asset versus asset. And then we look at market balances to see when deficits are coming in the future. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about uranium. Uranium is flat out one of the best opportunities I've ever seen uh, for a multitude of reasons. Those reasons could be it's a high energy return on energy invested material. It does not emit carbon. It is a cheap energy source. And when you build a nuclear power plant, uh, it takes up a relatively small area, which provides steady baseload power. Uh, all of those things are quite valuable to human, you know, human society uh, and the ability to do work with energy. And if we are moving and switching and the trend is to move to electric vehicles, uh, nuclear power obviously generates electricity. <clears throat> the demand for electricity is going to go higher. Therefore, nuclear could be on uranium could be one of the best bets uh, in the future. So I'm going to give you some Elliott wave analysis. I know people wanted me to do this on uranium uh, to see what we've got. So here it is. This is a long-term uranium chart from 2000 to 2021. I'm looking at this particular wave here to see how it aligns uh, with this bottoming process that we've been going through. So uh, what I did is I said, this is the top of the wave. I just said, this is wave five. So that is right here. And then I charted out every one of these little moves here uh, to see how this plays out. And you can, I'm sure you can move these things around a little bit, but this is how it played out. Five goes to one. So one, two, three, four, five. That puts us at the bottom here. Then we've got this A, B, C correction, A, B, C correction. Then we start a little move up and then a wave down. So it's a little move. So one, two, three, four, and then five. I don't think these, the reason this kind of flatlined is because we hit the cost of the producers down here. So there's limit, in my opinion, there's limitations on how far you can go down. So basically this thing went all the way to zero. It's, uh, we had inventory, uh, people weren't buying, prices declined all the way to as low as they possibly could go. And Right now, we are sitting on the cost of the producers. The all, We're below the high cost producers. We're kind of sitting where the mid cost to lower producers are right now. Uh, what that means is that prices literally have to go up. Um, I don't see there's any possible way that, that you could have prices go down and be sustained lower uh, for another decade or two. I just, I don't see it. Now on the right-hand side here, I have a, a ratio analysis. I can zoom in a little bit and show you. What we've got so that's this is ratio analysis here this is this goes all the way back to 1970 and what it is it's the price of uranium versus gold it's how many pounds of uranium can one ounce of gold purchase and we're going through history and we're at anomaly up here we're actually at 60 we're above this line up here but i wanted to make sure it was on the paper so we're off this paper right now this thing goes to 2013 2021, we're at 60, 62 pounds uranium to one ounce gold. Now, what this suggests is that we should be looking at uranium investments right now. That's what it suggests. And let me pop back in here. Now, gold is a moving target. If gold takes off, if it, if it moves, if we get inflation and that thing goes to account for that inflation, uh, uranium is going to get pulled up with it. Because uranium has an inflation component and a supply demand component in the price itself. So the one thing I wanted to look at is the uranium to gold price because that is our inflation component. So we've got that check. Uranium has never been this cheap. It is an anomaly. So in, on an inflation adjusted basis, uranium is flat out dirt cheap. I mean, flat out dirt cheap. It's never been this cheap in the history uh, that we've met, that we've been tracking it. Now, I said there was two components. The one component is uh, its relationship to gold, which is the inflation component. 
And then the second component is the supply demand balance. That's what drives prices are those two things. Let's go over here and take a look at the supply balance here. So I'm gonna scoot over here and this is the uh, supply and demand balance. I've got in here highlighted the 2021. That's somebody had done that uh, where I got the chart. And what we're seeing is that we see mark, this is the zero balance. So zero means that we have a balanced market. Uh, think of it as zero being that you're producing as much as you exactly need. You're not adding to inventory and you're not pulling from inventory. Here is suggesting that we were pulling from inventory. Here we were adding to inventory. Wherever you're pulling from inventory, usually that has a price, um, an effect on price. When we're pulling from inventory, price wants to go higher. That's what this large move is for price. Now, when we're adding to inventory, and you can see the sharp contrast difference between 2007 and 2008, that the price wants to decline. This price here is declining, decline, decline. So what I'm projecting here, and what this model is projecting, uh, spot price is the black. We are going to look for very large deficits that are going to be sustaining and growing in size from this point on in 2021. So what it, what, what I'm suggesting here is that the de the demand supply balance matches the Elliott wave theory, which matches our ratio investing uh, that uranium's never been this cheap. So what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing total alignment between absolutely everything I can look at. Not that you needed more justification for Elliott Wave, uh, but what I'm suggesting is that that even agrees with what we're seeing and that the bottom is being put in right now. That is what it's suggesting. And it, it looks like it aligns very well with that. So the herd, the herd mentality, the psychology behind it is validated and that the bottom is put, it's put in on a price basis, but it's also about to move to the upside after this correction phase is complete. And I'm saying that the correction phase is basically almost done or is done. It's very soon uh, and, and we're about to move up. So, I mean, high five for you guys who are in uh, uranium. Uh, I think your time's coming very soon, probably within the next year. Uh, I very much like uranium. And with the ratio where it's at today, bar none, probably the cheapest asset that there is. It's cheaper than silver. It's cheaper than everything. Uh, even platinum. I'm Platinum, man, these assets are so cheap. It's it's like debating between uh, what what's the cheapest when they're all dirt, dirt cheap. So I think uranium has one of the largest potentials to the upside because of the leverage. I also think that the risk is, is pretty low. So your risk reward on uranium uh, is very good. I can obviously do some other videos if you guys want on maybe potential plays. Uh, I've already done that already. So if you look at my old videos, uh, look to see what those videos are for uranium mining companies. I go through a whole bunch and tell you what which ones I like the best and went into some analysis on it. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, and thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.